and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my January favourite. So I wanted to do a really simple video because I am actually struggling massively to think of what to film for you all. I just think with everything going on, I think everyone's in the same boat. Like I don't see the point in me making makeup videos for yeah because no one's putting makeup on like i'm sick to death of putting makeup on and having absolutely nowhere to go like it's getting on my last nerve so i thought why not do my january favorites video i actually have quite a few new things that i've not put in any other videos before um quite a few new bits and bobs that i got at christmas so why not do that so that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna just get straight into the video if you could like comment subscribe i'd really appreciate it and let's just get into it so the first thing we're gonna talk about is this bad boy right here this is the origins super spot remover blemish treatment gel so basically this is just used to pop on directly on spots not rub it into your face you only put it on where the spots are and it's meant to fight heal and fade i was gonna say blur fade your spot but what i like so much about this is i've never had a cold sore but i've had clients who've had cold sores and they use these like um patches that you pop on and they create like what i would call like a a cloak of invisibility a cloak onto your cold sore and then you can apply your makeup and you don't have to bin all your makeup with brushes and stuff like that it's basically a way of preventing your cold sore from spreading this seems to like create the same invisible cloak on that spot to stop the environmental factors making it a thousand times worse so when i pop it on i can still cover it with makeup as well you can't see it but it's just such a clever concept because i own i can't explain it it just it just creates like a film on on the spot and i just feel as though when i'm out and about it's stopping the spot from getting worse it definitely fades them it definitely brings them down it's really 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 good and definitely recommend and by the way this is like nine months old so a lot like a little goes a long way so definitely recommend this next up are my beauty products and this one is a christmas gift that i got and that and this is actually my favorite one on the list my pop socket bits and bees lip balm so this is just your stereotypical pop socket that you get with it and then when you open the top it's got lip balm in it so i'm obsessed with having a lip balm at hand no matter where i am no matter what the only thing i did think about this by the way if you live in a hot country it might not be a very good idea but if you live in england where it's either snow rain wind sleet snow you'll be perfectly fine um this is amazing for anyone who just either always forgets a lip balm and then moans when they're out and forgets a lip balm or for when you're lying in bed and you just reach for your phone and you're like i love it i'm obsessed with it i always try and make sure my hands are sanitized if i'm out and about if i'm in bed and my hands are normally clean i do tend to hand sanitize while before i put my skincare on go wash my hands and then get into bed so i have normally got clean hands when i'm getting into bed but when i'm out and about I always use a hand sanitizer because obviously it can hold dirt and you don't want to be putting dirty fingers in your lip balm and then onto your lips, especially not now. But yeah, obsessed with this. I don't quite know how much of this I'm going to look for, yeah. But you got in the box, you get the pop socket, that lip balm, and then you also get another one. So you got two. And I just think that's a pure, clever gift. I think it's a boss gift to give someone, especially someone like me who loves lip balm. So definitely probably the best thing on my list at the moment is this pop socket i'm obsessed and then last on my beauty is this i just i just feel so stupid putting this in the video but it is vaseline is my best friend all year round but even more so in the winter like i apply vaseline sometimes i get branded vaseline if i get it on offer but i'm also prone to just picking up a typical petroleum jelly it makes no blind bit of difference you can normally get them in a bigger tub as well for like 80p like they're so cheap but i apply this all over my eyes under my eyes around my nose area and on my lips before bed every single night if i forget it i know about it every single year they're dry but if i don't put this on they end up cracked they end up bleeding they just end up a hot mess so vaseline is a staple no matter what but it's definitely a winter staple and i wanted to put it in this video so vaseline is definitely a beauty favorite so i'm about to roll out a little bit because the next item is a jacket so we're going to talk about clothing now it's only a few items but i'm so gutted but i got this for christmas 
and I am obsessed. So it's an oversized cropped denim jacket with fur on the sleeves and fur around the hoods. Now these aren't new, like these came out a while ago and everyone was loving them. And I'm the type of person that if something comes out and everyone's got it on, I won't buy it. I'll wait till it goes ever in the sale or out of fashion. Like I just, I'm just that person. I hate wearing, seeing a million and one people in the same thing as me. This, I loved the minute I seen it come out and it was from um, places like St. John's in Liverpool or um, online. Instagram accounts and they were like £60 and I was like they're not worth £60 there's just no way when I went into St John's and I seen them it was 65 quid and I know the quality was so thin the jacket was so thin and I was like no you're alright I'm not, I'm not getting it so I left it anyway new look brought out their own the jacket is so like thick it's like a proper denim jacket and what I don't know if this is like the others because I didn't notice it these are removable and I'd wanted a brand new denim oversized jacket because I love oversized denim jackets in the spring and summer. I have one. So this basically all removes. It has got a fur on the inside, but that removes as well. The fur around the neck removes, the fur around the sleeves remove, and it's just fabulous. I absolutely love Definitely it. Definitely loving this. I just wish I had somewhere to go with it. Like I'm so gutted. So next up is a pyjama outfit that I got for Christmas. This is another item, but I, can, I know where everything's from. I don't actually know how much this was, but um, I'm just going to turn it inside out. So my mum purchased this for me and oh, it's amazing. So it's a nighty for bed, but you can obviously just wear it as laundry if you wanted to. And it's basically a towel in a dress. It's amazing. Like this is the Harry Potter one because there was quite a few. My mum said, but she got me the Harry Potter one. And it's just got like some little vague Harry Potter. Um, it's got like an owl on it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's just so comfortable to put on. And because like I said, I sleep with the window open. I've put this on for bed and oh, when it was snowing, I was so warm in bed. Didn't have to worry about having the window open. It was just amazing. But I just thought this was a really good thing to have especially at the moment in lockdown if you are someone who feels like you just want to be a bit more cozy yeah it sounds stupid but I think everyone's moods at the moment are requiring something cozy to wear all the time because we're just fed up now we're just so done with it like England is an absolute crap show at the moment like I don't even know what's going on anymore these are just so nice to put on and just get into bed and feel cozy but yeah Costco Amazing, love it, absolute favour man at the moment. And then to go with that and also to go with, if you watch my latest video, um, I've got a tartan nighty on. She got me these to go with that as well. So these are the Jane and Bleecker. What are they called Bleecker? Uh, my hair's always everywhere. Jane and Bleecker cosy socks. And they have the name on the bottom of the sock, which is great because we have a lot of wooden floor in our house. And sometimes I have slipped a good few times like especially when i'm chasing the dog around or just playing with them she got me these excuse me to grip onto the floor so they were really good and they're like a thermal on the inside they've washed pretty well as well i've had them on a good few times since christmas eve and they are really really good and really really thick again another costco item and these won't have been much i can't don't, can't say how much they are because i didn't my mum can't remember but she wouldn't spend any more than £10. I don't even think she'd spend £6 on a pair of cosy socks. Maybe six quid, probably. Um, but not much. So yeah, these two are amazing. And keeping with the cosy theme, I'm going to talk about these bad boys. The best bras I have purchased for lockdown, like ever. So I even wear these every single day, whether I'm going to the shops, anything. They are amazing. They're basically just the mould bras with no... Um, boning in them the only tiny bit of stiffness they have is on the side so it is like a proper proper boat um proper bra but that's not like a bone it's just like thicker material but these are so good they're so affordable they're from georgia as there and they're just oh i can't even get this in shot i don't think um they're just such good bras they've got a really good support on them as well don't get me wrong when you're running down the stairs they're not the best but for sitting around the house, if you're someone like me who I don't actually, and I don't know if this is like a big busty thing, I don't like sitting in the house with no bra on. I hate that skin on skin, especially if I'm sat like watching the TV. I just 
don't like it. I know loads of people, I only ever don't have a bra on is when I go to bed and I'm in bed, would never sleep with a bra on. And I get up first thing in the morning. But once I'm, I'm dressed, I do like to have a bra on. I feel, I feel better. So I think if you don't have to wear a bra, then great, save yourself even more money. But if you are someone like me who has a big bust and you want to still wear a bra, but you want to be comfortable. And like I said, really affordable. You actually get two in a packet. And I've got the navy one on now. So that's the navy one. And then that's the skin coloured one. I think there was black, white, navy cream slash skin coloured because you know everyone has the same colour um, I'm going to call it beige that's beige to me um, that doesn't even match my skin <laughs> um, what else is the there was another two colours that you could get but oh my god and I'm a 34G so if I can get these like honestly they're amazing so comfortable and you know I wear a sports bra £50 a pop that I put on for one hour a day if I'm exercising these were just an absolute bargain and loads of my clients have went and bought them since I've told them and they've been like, Georgia, they are the comfiest bras. I was like, I know, so comfortable. So yeah, lockdown hammocks at a proper decent rate, definitely recommend. And that's going over there. Next up, we're gonna talk about like just items that I carry all the time. And one of my new favorite things is this Morning Glory, I think they pronounce Han Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. I love this style hand sanitizer. So the reason why I like it so much is it's just a nice spray. So, and it reminds me a little bit, the smells a little bit like aftershave, like it's so nice. I am obsessed with this style hand sanitizer. It's so slimline. I think this one, I think I'm gonna save a little bit more now or purchase another one once everything's back to normal. These are like the perfect ones to slip into your handbag. They're not bulky. There's no worry of it exploding, like the lid coming off or anything. And like you have to put some major pressure on the top of that. I think they're gonna be the perfect go-to handbag friendly hand sanitizer. So I'll definitely be getting a few more. I can't remember the price, so I, like everything else, I'm just gonna put the price next to me. But yeah, loving this hand sanitizer. I think it's really, really good. Sticking with the sanitizing theme, these bad boys. So these you can get in home and bargain and stuff, but they're a little bit more flimsy than these. This one's a really solid, it's got like the rubber bits on. So this one's a little bit universal, I would say, than the one from like home and bargain and stuff. But for the bargain price, that I think the home and bargain one's £2.50, this was £5. And you, if you bought more than one, you got it a little bit cheaper. So I bought my mum one, me one, and my dad one. I got my dad gun metal, my mum rose gold, and me like the multicolored one. Um, but these are the ice soul hand door opener sanitizer things. Now the reason why I got this isn't just for door handles. I've been a freak with door handles, like toilets, public toilets, my whole life. I've always been someone who carries sanitizer i've always been someone who wipes everything down i've always been like that and my biggest issue in a toilet is when you go for your way and you go to flush and if the flush is a press down one if you are my fellow acrylics you have to do this or if it's a handle one you meant to use your hand now with a handle one i just use my foot so sorry but i do i use my foot and with the handle, the pushy ones, obviously you've got no other option. I'll try and find any in my bag to push this, push it down. Because to me, they're the most dirtiest parts of a, of a toilet. You do your business, you wipe, and then you touch. So they're, to me, the worst part. Then there's the door handle, and then there's the taps. The taps are probably one of the worst ones as well, because what I don't understand is if it's still a twisty tap, you touch that dirty, you wash your hands, you touch that clean. So now you've got the dirt back on your hands. So for me, I've actually gone as far as if there's no soap and there's no towels, I would rather just hand sanitise. I won't touch anything. I will hover, go to the toilet and do what I need to do. And then I will not touch anything. I would rather hand sanitise. I've had hand sanitizers that turn into foam and everything. And they're just so much better. But this is a godsend. You can open the door with it. You can flush the chamber. You can pull the lever down. You can touch the lights. You could even go as far as to spin. It's to spin this, this, the um, tap if you need to. Like, it's just got loads to it. You could also, with a cash machine, it's got rubber ends. You can put your pin in if you are not contactless and you need to touch the keypad on your card. Sorry, I'm really making a racket with my keys. You can di -di -di and it's done. Like, it's just such a handy thing to have. And now, obviously, with COVID, everyone's becoming 
very very sanitary but that's just things i've always done so yeah highly recommend these little bad boys i'll link everything down below because i just think these ones are better than the home and bargain ones if you can afford to spend that little bit more sticking with the sanitary theme i'm going to be talking about these these are the mini fabulosas and they are fabulous so i've always carried disinfectant sprays disinfectant sprays i think it's ever since i started going to festivals i always just liked the idea that i always carried a dental wipe or a you know a spray or a hand sanitizer and I'd clean everything down with it so if you can't fit this in your bag and you're going on a night out and you just take a hand sanitizer they're just as good this one's got 65 percent alcohol in it so they are still good to have and you can stand there spray it leave it for a couple of minutes and then wipe it down with a piece of tissue if you really are someone who just doesn't like the concept of going to a public toilet or touching something that's public they're great but these are 60 mils they're like two pounds i don't even think they're that much and this one's in wild rhubarb which everyone loves i'm not the biggest fan of but it was all that was available when i was in the shop the last time but the one i've got in my car is um poppy scented one but it has like a kenzo flower perfume the original kenzo flower it has that in it it's definitely got a like a slight connection to kenzo flower and it smells gorgeous but it smells more like a perfume than it does a cleaning product so on the go when you're out and about if you want to be a little bit more discreet about it then get the poppy scented one i use it in the car the poppy one it just smells lovely it's not too uh, they're just really good really good to have in your handbag really good to have in the car you can just spray everything down absolutely amazing so yeah definitely recommend these lastly on my january favorites is this so I've always had an on-the-go mirror for when I've been traveling and stuff. Mine broke last year and I was absolutely gutted. And my mum was like, do you want me to get you another one? Because she'd bought me the original one for Christmas. And she always buys me like these little things. Like, this one's from Amazon, but this one's actually better. The one my mum originally got me was one of like JVC or something like that. And you'd click the button. If you've ever watched my travel tips for on a long haul flight, you probably haven't for a while because we can't go anywhere. But if you have watched it, I'll leave the link down below just in case you want to see it. It's very similar to this in bulkiness in size. This one actually is slightly different though because it comes and it's on a much taller stand. It goes a lot higher. So you just have to clip that bottom bit in. And I'm going to do this without... And it goes quite high. That's the, the mirror there. And then you get these so if you are someone who's just like do tiktok so you do makeup tutorials whatever and you're on holiday and maybe you just want to film the makeup look you get the clasp for your phone you get this and instead of it being battery powered it is actually on a cable which is really really long and i just think that the brightness on this is brighter than the ring light i'm using now it is amazing like such a good bright mirror so clever i've still even got the cling film i need to take that off but we'll just get to that another time um but yeah that is my last oh by the way it comes in a box just so you can see it's a video with me it's got to be a video with me if i drop something like imagine imagine i didn't drop something <laughs> right i'll be back now one second Hi and welcome to Kembo's. We are a disaster. It's 20 but 21 and uh, my video represents this year. Anyway, that was what I was trying to show you. Yeah. That's the box. That's what it looks like. That's what you can do with your phone. And yeah, that is it guys. I'm now gonna go and tidy up a box of makeup that I've just kicked over by accident. I hope you've liked this video. That's the end of this video. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop rabbiting on. Hope you are all well, stay safe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.